Hi, Deji. Hi. Uh, Hello, <laughs> Deji. <laughs> I know you'd be wondering, oh, you can't even wonder, except maybe you're living in one cave. obscure village or a cave, <laughs> like they would rather say. I mean, we have Deji just off the Big Brother Ninja season seven. What's it called? Yeah, um, level up. Level, level up. up season. Mm -hmm. And he as was in level one. Level yeah, one, yeah. As a fake yeah. house. Yeah. As a fake house. Level two. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to level two for like two days. Back. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, we had a lot of drama on the show when you were on the show. Mm -hmm. I know you had altercations, you had yeah. your love moments, you had your times where you. And there was something that you really um, liked on the show was when you won the Pepsi tax. Yeah, the Pepsi tax. Yeah. You want to tell us how you felt? What was it? Why were you very excited? I mean, because I knew I was leaving the next day. Oh, and wow. Then, how did you know? <laughs> I was supposed to be there for four weeks. Oh, you were told specifically? Yeah, like, you know, we were told we were going to be there for four weeks. Uh -huh. But then I didn't, I spent more than four weeks. I spent five weeks. So I knew that I wasn't going to get extra week because I already got extra week already. Oh, okay. Because oh. I was supposed to live in Modella. Oh. So the Pepsi tax was literally my last task in the house. So I was good, like, I was really happy that I won it. Uh, okay, now I want something before I left. Okay. So that was why I was really happy. Okay. Yeah. Also, how much? Was that? I think they said maybe like two point five mm. per person. Per right? person. Yeah. Ah, mad. Ah, those are, those are, those are, those are, he's, I think he, you're used to counting more money than that, Abby, because you're like. I mean, not really, but <laughs> at least winning something is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, the bragging yeah, rights. Yeah, yeah, the excitement of winning. Yeah. Well, let's go back to the beginning, right before yeah. you stepped on stage. Mm. When or how did you find out you were going to be on Big Brother Niger? Like before I went on stage? Yeah, like when did you find out you were going to be on the show? I mean, I, we found out. So what happened was, obviously we had, we had auditions, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So from the first moment, we, you know, we got the first um, feedback, like, oh, you know, you've passed the next stage, you're going to the next stage rather. So at that point, the thing is, you won't know until you're on stage. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah I you can know. be in lockdown and exactly. you can be there and they won't call you. Exactly. Yeah. So even when I was in lockdown, I still wasn't sure. Yeah. Okay. I still wasn't sure because my own case, I was supposed to go in because the show started 23, 24. Yeah. And I, I didn't go in 23, 24. So obviously, I was already feeling like, okay, maybe I'm out. I wasn't going to be on the show. Yeah. You get, and when I spent the extra week, they didn't even tell me what's up if I was going to be fair. So you're just down. eating food. I was just there. You're in the lockdown. Like, I was just in the lockdown. Wow. No information. You didn't vex, like you want to go home. I was pissed because I couldn't even sleep, like different emotions. You okay. get, like knowing that the show had started. Yeah. And I'm not in the house. <laughs> but blah, blah, I mean, blah. if you're still in lockdown, you foresee the reason, say, I'd be like, say, hope still there for but me. The thing is, for like from past season, you know, I heard that people have been in lockdown and they, you know, they were bounced. Yeah. You get, so I had a lot of reasons to be like scared. Yeah, and, that's know, but you mentioned to us that you were not living in Nigeria. Yeah. Did you audition from the US or you did you came back to Nigeria to audition? Mm, yeah, I mean the first audition phase was just sending like sending a video. Yeah. Okay. You get, and then the second one was like maybe online. It was yeah. from maybe the third or fourth one I had to travel to yeah. Lagos. Yeah. So you were fully ready for this. So what, what did yeah. you say in the video that you think convinced them really? Honestly, like you never know what they are looking for. Yeah. So you just just be you. I mean, what they asked in the video were like the same thing everybody would say because they asked like six questions mm. and like you can't see more than the questions they asked. Mm. So probably they just, I don't even know what, what would have made them call me. Okay. But you were just you in the video. I was just myself, you know, I just because a lot of people would think, oh, maybe you have connections. Yeah. You have yeah. One of the reasons I asked the question was yeah. when you came on stage, there was uh, obviously as a fake housemate, yeah. you came with that. There was this assurance about you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you, and you said you're a playboy, you're a lover boy. So it, yeah. it seemed like everybody felt that this guy, that this, there, there was an agenda you um, were yeah, here exactly. to push. Oh. So was that stated from you from the start or when? How did that come about? Really? I mean, for me, like, naturally, before before the show, like, I just have this aura about me, like, I'm always confident, like, okay. no matter what I do, you get, so, I, so being on the stage, you know, I was just, like, describing myself, like, okay, oh, so this that is was, how I am. it wasn't like you no, were it wasn't, okay. it wasn't a strategy or anything, like, I was like, oh, this is how I am, like, this is what people would probably see me for mm. on the show, yeah. Yeah. you get, like, Sometimes I don't even have to do anything, like I can just be there just looking. But if, you know, the way I'm dressed, the way I'm looking, people just be like, oh, who is this guy? Why is he okay. proud? Who is this, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> you had some interesting connections in the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of them is maybe your potential relationship outside or after Big Brother Niger. Yeah. You had a, you had a connection with Chichi. Yeah. But before Chichi, you had a connection with um, Doi. 
Yeah. And before doing it, you had already stated to your best friend in the house, Dotun, yeah. that someone that you really liked was yeah. Chomzy. Yeah. With all that played out, how did you end up going to Chichi? Because I, at some point, I felt like maybe you liked doing it, but yeah. you, were, you were not sure of what you wanted, and, or you were not sure of what she was giving at that point in time. Yeah. So you were still trying to understand the situation. Yeah. So how did you move from the whole doing Chomzy and you now move to Chichi? Yeah, I mean, going into the house, I I didn't plan on anything, you know, relationship-wise. And then when I even when I got in and I saw them, like, I still didn't want anything. You get so maybe at the point when I was saying, oh, maybe Chomzy doing Chichi, like, I mean, I was just, I just found them attractive, not that I wanted them. Okay. In any case, so, so you I mean, found Doyin attractive. I mean, yeah, I found all of the Doyin, Chomzi, Chichi, like you know, I found them attractive. But at the same time, I still maintain the fact that I didn't want anything with anyone. You get. So with Chomzi, you know, we, we you know we spoke about it, and she was like, you know, she was, what did she even say? She was like, oh, the a everyone friend, wants you. And everyone wants me, and even a friend, uh, which was Chichi, Chichi. You get. And. I just didn't want to be in any situation, but obviously I, I got into the house. I was initially I was close with uh, what was her name, doing, doing, yeah. You get because she, you know, she she was nice to me, blah blah blah, and I felt like okay, maybe there's something here. Yeah. But while we we're having conversations, I only saw friendship. Just friendship. Yeah, because I felt like we are better of as friends, and I've you know following the show for a while, I knew that all these things don't last. Mm. The only things that last are like the friendship. Mm. So I genuinely wanted the friendship with her, you know. And the other the other ladies, I, I wasn't even looking for a friendship or anything. Because I didn't even want to, I wasn't, you know, there to make friends. Like, okay. I just wanted to, like, okay. just do my thing and leave, that kind of thing. Coming out of the show now, we have a lot of things to talk about. I mean, yeah. about Big Brother, but I just want to find out from you. The thing with Chichi, is this still going to be specific? Don't tell me that you are exploring. Are you I mean, still exploring? I mean, see, honestly, before the show, like, I feel like there's no girl I want to meet now that I haven't met before the show. Hmm. Okay. You get so... <laughs> but do you get that? But, but, but you there's know, no, you, uh, you went in knowing that you were going to spend like four weeks four or something. Weeks, was yeah. that what um, made you... That gave you that mindset of, I don't want anything knowing I only have four weeks. Do so you think if you had yeah. one... Yeah, I feel like maybe that also played a part. Because yeah. I didn't want to like lead anybody on. Because yeah. I said, you know, yeah. I kept saying that like, in this house, this guy, is as if he knows... What, yeah, he knew there's this agenda, there's this thing around him. <laughs> but you know what? I wasn't we, there the we, first we have so many moments that we can explore as yeah. we are on the show because we're still gonna get into the Big Brother Night Just Season 7. Are you gonna yeah. tell us a little bit about your experience inside that house? Sure, sure. And well, I was just gonna say something, yeah. sorry Debbie. I was going to say that I think this guy's plan coming out of the show mm -hmm. yeah. is to leak all three ladies. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. Do you know the meaning of the when I say leak? No, I get what you're saying. <laughs> okay, okay, you understand. It's to leak, it's that's, to, it's that's not my plan. It, no, no, no. That's not it's my going friend. to leak. Leak is very good. Because if I try that part, then I'll be. I'm already you know, you know, you know what should I, You know what should have fit him? The okay. bachelor. Giving roses out to the like, Take this one. I agree with Give you. Give me back I the roses. That's the show that fits him.